Hey guitar enthusiast Lauren Bateman here and in this lesson we're going to do a super easy beginner version of the band's Up on Cripple Creek. Let's get into the lesson. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell you the chords we're going to use for this song. I'll go over some simple strumming patterns and then we'll get into how to play along with the verse and the chorus. So first off let's talk about the chords. This song's great because we're mainly using open chords. We're going to be using an A, D, and E chords and those are the ones we use the most. We only use those in the verse. In the chorus we're going to do an F sharp minor and a G chord. Now I do have an easy fix for the F sharp minor. I'll get to that when we get into the chorus but for the verse now all you have to worry about is the A chord, the D chord, and the E major chord. If you got those, you're going to be good on this verse. So the first thing is the intro and that's all just A. There's going to be like this really intricate bass line. Don't worry about that. Remember, we're keeping this super simple. So all I want you to do for strumming pattern is we're just going to do, it's going to be a two measure pattern, but you're going to see what I'm going to talk about. I'm keeping it really simple here. So the first time we play a chord, because most of these chords are two measures. That means we're going to count to four two times. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. There's a couple instances where that doesn't happen and I'll let you know where that is. But the first time we play on a chord, I want you to go one, two, three, four, and down, 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 up. And then the second measure, we're just going to do four downs. One, two, three, four. So together it would be one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four. Okay, one more time. One, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four. Super simple, right? Not too hard. Now, let's talk about the verse chord progression, and then we'll play through with the rhythm. All right, so the verse is going to be double A, double D, double A, then one measure of D and one measure of E, and then it repeats that. So for those chords, you can choose whichever one you want to do. You can do the down, 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 up, or just the four downs. I'm probably going to throw the up because I think it will probably sound a little bit nicer. But if your chord changes are slow, don't worry about throwing that up in just yet. All right, so let's take it from the verse. I admit I don't know the verse as well as the chorus, so I'm not going to sing so I don't butcher it. But we're going to go through this progression twice. All right, and ready? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And one, two, three, four. D, two, three, four. And one, two, three, four. A, two, three, four. And one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And one, two, three, four. And one, two, three, four. And one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, and. And there you go. That's how you're going to play all of the verses in this song. So now let's talk about our chorus. Hey guys, I hope you're enjoying this lesson video so far. If you're not subscribed to my channel, make sure to subscribe and turn the notifications on so that you can see when I release new lessons just like this one. So the first thing I want to talk about is the different chords. So we're still using A, D, and E, but we do have a measure of G that comes in at the end and a measure of F sharp minor. Now I said I was going to give you an easy fix because F sharp minor unfortunately is a bar chord and a lot of beginners have very hard time playing bar chords so I teach you easy fixes. So the easy fix for the F sharp minor, it's not the great, it's not as great as a full bar chord but it'll work for this song. You already know an A chord because you're playing it in the song. All you have to do is take your A chord and move it down to the bottom three strings and play those bottom three strings. Okay, so that's going to be your easy F sharp minor. So we have an A chord, down three strings each, easy F sharp minor. A chord, easy F sharp minor. All right, there you go. So that's what we got. Let's talk about the chord progression. So we have two A's, two D's, two E's, F sharp minor, and G. All right, I'm going to play through this once and we're going to use the same chord progression or say same strumming pattern. Sorry. One, two, three, and four, one, or one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four. So ready? We're going to play that right now. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, and And 
And that's what I would recommend you do. Just strum that G chord on the end and let it ring out. I think it's gonna sound a lot cooler and be a little bit more reminiscent of the song. So again, that F sharp minor is one, two, three, four, or one, two, three, four, and, and then G, two, three, four, and then we get back into the verse. So there you have it. That's Up on Cripple Creek by the band. If you guys are interested in learning more about simple guitar techniques and learning how to play guitar, I do have a guitar course, a seven level guitar system that teach you all about strumming chords, how to make the chord changes faster and stuff like that. I'll put a link in the description below and you guys can go check that out. YouTube is going to pop up a couple more videos over there. Go check them out. Maybe there's something you like and hopefully I'll see you guys in another lesson video.